take your color swatches and you're going to make heart shapes that you can turn into flowers for one of our cards. Now if you have a hole punch, you can use that instead. Or if you have a Cricut machine, you can make yourself a template and use that. Or you can make a template this way and then trace it and then you won't have the little folded lines. Whatever you want to do. This is for our flower stems. I'm just going to cut all along this. I like the different shades here. So I'm cutting this way and then I'll make some leaves out of this also. Now for your flower pot, I kept it real simple. Just a diagonal line here from corner in just a little bit. And I'm now rounding my edges, but you can round the edges of this. I'm also going to cut a strip for the rim. Take your card stock, fold, and you can run something, a pencil, a scissor end, a ruler along that edge. Just makes a nice crease for you. And then you're gonna play around with your pieces. Not really sure what I wanna do here, so I'm messing around. Eh, I think that's too busy. I'll save that other pot for a different card. Stick some stems in here arranging leaves, then I'm going to arrange the hearts into flower shapes. Here's our finished card. Inside, any way you shade it, I love you. It could be used for a birthday card too, but in this case, I wrote Valentine. 
getting another card ready with cardstock. And we're gonna glue a background to this. This is the sky. Now we'll do some mountains. Now we'll have little hills. We're moving towards the foreground. We'll cut that little piece off. Don't worry about that. I did cut that ahead of time. So snip the edges and you'll have some grass. And then this one, I cut more bees into it so that it looks like it's closer grass. Okay, here we have a trunk of a tree, sliding it in underneath just that first layer of grass and then some branches. Remember when you do your trees that the branches that touch the trunk of the tree are wider and they get skinnier as you go up. And then I just did cloud shaped leaves to put on there. Try different sizes, alternate the colors. You can put some of the branches on top of that too. Again, if you had a small hole punch that was the shape of a heart, this would be easier. And I did not fold it because it's so, so tiny. So I'm trying to show you how I did it. Just rounded out one edge and then kept the point and then go in and V the top. And if we have to round it again, we can. I'll show you that again. We'll just um, do these little ones. This one I'll do larger to show you. So see how I'm round. Here's our second card, Valentine, you color my world. That's just a regular pen. And I did not put anything in the inside of this one. So you could write what you want, or you could write you color my world on the inside and just keep Valentine on the outside. One more thing about these cards is it might be a little lumpy, so you can put a piece of wax paper or parchment paper down on top of these with a heavy book. 